Let me turn my hat around straight so I can look actually professional. So I had my headlamp on. It's barely daylight out. We have about an hour and a half drive. As is, we're with these things that we got to get into. It's like everybody stays up late. We all talk. We all. It's 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 a time to see each other and actually reconnect from what the year has done. So it's fun. We're having a blast. But today's a day to go catch some fish. So we're gonna go. We're gonna rip some lips. Hopefully, we're go, we're heading to two rivers, two different rivers today, and um, we'll just see what happens. No competition. Just. Hopefully we catch some fish and we're on rivers that we can honestly I keep some fish. I don't know what he's talking about. All I know is it's a competition. If we come back, caught the least amount of fish, Trev, we lost, okay? And Everything's that a competition. Guy. Ouch. No participation a lot of, trophies. <laughs> puts a lot of weight on these shoulders right here. Well, I know that we could at least put the boat in. So we're here uh, trying to get the boat in, but the, the uh, snowmageddon from last week flooded the river, and as you can see, there's like six inches of mud now on the ramp, and we're not thinking Trent's gonna be able to get the truck out after we get the boat in, but we're gonna try it, see, we got tow straps, so. Okay. Doesn't look bad, tell me, tell me the truth. I'm just gonna say what everybody's thinking. It's deeper than I thought it was gonna be. Good morning, guys. We are on a little tiny river here on the Oregon coast match hatches, we're ripping lips, and hopefully not getting stuck. That's all the traction we have, folks. Okay. We're in. Guys, good morning. Welcome to day number two of the trip. We uh, have moved locations. I have not ever floated this river as uh, I don't think most of us have. We spooled up, so you're gonna see Trent, Case, Trevor, and Troy. They're fishing a totally different river system. And then we've got Chael, Tony. Then we've got Shoemaker, Cody, Wes on a different river system. So we're dividing and conquering because uh, the river's not looking awesome. So we've kind of had to move locations. Long drive this morning before we've even hit the water. And in normal fashion, we're casually late. Good news is there's not many people here at the, <laughs> at the launch. Y'all wanna see a dead body? Cody hit a deer, by the way, guys, casualty. Anyways, come along, we're gonna fish a new river. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so we are fishing. Casey, master of the bobber, master of hitting Trent in the face, uh, and we got Trevor. Hi guys. You kind of filled in on what we're doing here. We're using a bobber rig. Super long rod with non-stretch line. This is 30 pound, what is this, 30 pound braid, Trent? Braid, yeah. We're running a bobber with a bead on each side so it doesn't get hung up on the eyes here. And then we have a stopper up here. And this stopper is adjustable. So it comes and hits that and you can always adjust to the depth that you're fishing. Then we got our 18 inch leader with a weight here. Uh, we're gonna mix it up today. Today, we're, this, we got some row here. We also have some shrimpy little guys that we put in a keer. And uh, we might try uh, anything. Beads, uh, we might try jigs. We're gonna hit them with the full meal deal today and see what bites. We got Cody on the other river with uh, Chell, their two boats, and uh, we're fishing this little river and we're just trying to find some fish. See what happens here. I needed a long sleeve t-shirt today, Wesley. Oh yeah, oh yeah! Woo! Is that bad? Yeah. Had to read dough. Clipper. Shock and off! Woo! On the floor, Woo! baby. That's a great way to start the morning. Go ahead, Not too bad, like our fourth pass. Fourth pass. We're doing the uh, uh, gentleman hours, banker hours. Did the uh, swing shift. 
we put in at 10 a.m. today. So there's a lot of boats out in front of us. We're letting the water chill for a couple hours. Coming behind, pick them up. Clean it up. Clean it up. Hey, Tone. Nice work, brother. Thanks, buddy. First ever uh, steelhead bobber dog on your boat, Coach? Yeah, for sure. So we are here. Got a clipper doe. We got BMAC. Oh. Our buddy Tony here for our annual hush trip. So today's going to be full of it. We're bobber dogging. Woo! It's going to be awesome. Beautiful day. Pass one. One pass down, zero fish. We're doing pretty good today, actually. <laughs> Line in water time. Line in water time is really good. If by, be, if by doing good, he means Casey just spilled the bait on the floor. We're doing pretty good. This bobber needs to go down right now. I want it to. I really do. I kind of want it in like the angle of what the oar is okay. on the inside of the seam. That's small guy. Hey Nick, where you at? Where you at? <laughs> oh for one, baby. It's that little bright bead there. Yeah. I was telling you you. Yeah, if I only listen to you more. Still little guy. Still got perfect griller. Perfect griller. It tastes delicious. Another bobber dog down. We're just gonna fill this thing. This system, you can kill. Uh, you can kill three fish per tag. We have four tags. We can got put a baker's do. dozen almost in the boat. So we got some work to do. But uh, so we're back at it. Gonna bleed this one, put it in the box, go back up there and get another one. Cheers. What's our game plan? Good fish. What what happened? What are we gonna change up? Um, bright bead. Bright bead. Bright bead. No yarny. Bright bead. Bright fish. That's I what I think. Well, <clears throat> hey, you we're trying. Rice? No. Hey, fam. Logi Bear here. Um, no other members from Hush on this boat, so uh, I'll do a little vlogging. Um, we've been fishing this river for about two hours now, probably about 80, 90 casts. Um, shoemaker here. Uh, had a bike, hooked, didn't land. Um, we've been having this issue with this boat. The motor won't actually grab water unless there's somebody in the back of the boat. So every time we motor, we have to have either Shu or me jump back there. We just hit this one stretch. We've been bobber dogging all day with uh, beads and uh, not, not really a ton of luck. We just switched to yarn ball side drift technique. And this has been a pretty good drift. Um, Tony just hooked up to a smaller fish. And so we are gonna just hit this stretch maybe two, three more times and see if we can do the same. I haven't caught a steelhead in probably two years, so it'd be cool to catch one today. So on this boat, we have Tony, Emac, Cody, and Wes. Tony has caught two, and there was just a bunch of turkeys up here strutting around gobbling. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a Jake. <laughs> I mean, I got a fish somewhere. You think you're right here. Yeah, fish down there. Got to be at the angle. Oh, got him, fish, baby. There you go. Come on, baby. Tell me the best side. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> oh, he's a screamer. Oh, whoa. There you go. He's hot. That's the one we want. Wes, what are we doing right now? Ah, I'm reeling in a steely head. I need some water. I need some water on the reel. I need some water on the reel. It's getting hot. We're burning it up. Oh, he's a good fish, dude. Beautiful buck. Real pretty buck. Oh, get the net out of there. Oh. Are we clipped? You a clipper? You have a clipper. Nice. He's a pretty, pretty fish, dude. Nice. Oh boy. Dude. Just get a picture of that one with the new, uh, the new gear. Yeah. All right, a little update time. It is 2:20 in the afternoon. A lot of the boats are already taken off the river, so we're way behind everybody. We let the holes rest. Um, one thing that we did today that's totally different than I normally do is we're bobber dogging. It's new to me. Um, I usually always side drift. So we're running bobber dog setups with the Hawken floats, um, 
slinky. Right now we're running a, a five ball in most of this, and then we're actually doing all three beads. So normally I'm always a bait yarn combination. So uh, Tony's going rogue, and he's actually running a bead with a little trailer bait. So there's the hook right there. So we're doubling up. Um, as you can see, he's already tangled those, so he's not really paying that much attention. Tony doesn't like my program, so. No, I do. I just run a different. I don't know your program. There we go. So we're back in the water. We're gonna catch another one right now. You fixed my debauchery. All right, update for your for y'all. Um, been pretty slow towards the end. I don't believe I had a single bite all day. Maybe one or two. I don't know. Um, shoemaker here about 25 minutes ago half a mile three quarters of a mile up the river hooked into one for about four seconds um, probably a 19 20 incher jumped out of the water as soon as it went in his mouth and broke him off but that was the most action this boat saw today I believe so on the other boat you got Cody Wesley Brian Tony I think they have caught hooked three caught three so hope Casey and uh, Trevor those boys are maybe seeing a little bit more action um, it wasn't as productive today but fish were caught and uh, I believe we're all still deer friends it was another day on the river so let's see if uh, let's see if our buddy Jell over here has anything he wants to say to the video about his experience today You case. Fish on, boys. Oh, yes. no way. Yes. yes. Greatest fish of all time. <laughs> Greatest fish of all time. Oh. Just like that. That was a slow too. Slow Dude. take, just like yours. There could be a bunch of fish right I here. I think I missed a bite. You did? Trent, get the net. I guess it's not ready yet, but I'm getting the net anyway. It feels like a big fish. Just don't let him get underneath the boat, Trevor. I don't know if you want to get in the boat. Or here, throw me the net. Throw me the right net. It's all wrapped here, up. Here, case, you take the net. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the boat out of here. Oh. Oh. Am I good? It's all wrapped up, man. Go down below me. Over here, case. Like right to the right there. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, the tides have turned. Is it a clipper? It's a clipper. Oh, beautiful buck. Oh, yeah. That buck That's there. a big old buck, man. Oh. So, so, what happened there? You just tell them what happened. Literally, oh. coming down, last stretch, we had to stop and give the guys the keys on the road. Because they were going to go up and get Trent's truck. We're just cruising out of here. Trevor's like, dude, I just saw a big old fish roll over there. Come They're over like, here, yeah, right. Key, give the guys the, tr the keys. Another fish rolls. We're like, man, there must be a pile of fish in there. First cast, Trent has a fish on, misses it. Next cast, Trevor casts out there. Big old buck. I think there's more fish in there. I think I think, I think we can get a few. Case has said, uh, yeah, you guys take the pictures. I'm I'm going. I'm taking this. Ooh. <laughs> guys, we did it. Beautiful fish. Pop a gill on that thing first, Trevor. There he is. That looked like a bite. I'm gonna fish real quick. Yeah, absolutely. That's on. That's recorded. Yes. First one done. We got it. Oh, get him, get him, get him. There's a bite. You got one. Fish, fish on. on. Fish on. <laughs> fish on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Whoa. Whoa. I need a net though. Oh, don't come off, please. No! <laughs> Jumper! Guys, anchor just came out. Pull on the oar, pull on the oar. We got a real close. I got the boat. You ready? I got the boat. Hold on. Yes! 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 <laughs> Two in a row. Yes! Two in a row. <laughs> Giant, dude! Oh my Clip. goodness, not a clipper. That's a nope, nope, that's a, that's a native fish. Dude, that's a giant. That's a stud fish. Nice work, Trent. That's a pretty one, isn't it? Let's put her back in the river. Get these fish back in as fast as possible. Oh, that's a nice fish. Beautiful fish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Nice job, brother. Yes. That's what it's all about right there, guys. Oh. Giggling like schoolgirls. We are too. I don't know if these uh, fellers, fellers say this on their channel, but we say it over at the Hus channel a lot. It only takes one. And what I mean by that, if you're hunting, fishing, it only literally takes one minute or one second to change the outcome of the whole day, the whole trip. And that's what we just experienced. Yeah. Uh, a series of events led us to pulling over at that spot. And we saw some fish rising, which you've never seen steelhead coming out of the water. No. We're like that. Maybe there's a bunch in there. Let's try it. Four or five casts later, we landed two fish. Only two fish of the day. And it's really changed the... Uh, the whole demeanor of the day. The whole demeanor is what it is. It just yeah. feels real good. We left the river this morning midday because we just weren't feel it, feeling it. And tried this one out and literally made it three quarters of the way through the drift. And one hole changed the whole day for us. So don't give up, right? Stay at it. Stay at it. Yeah. One second, one moment will change, change everything. And you got to remain positive that whole time when you're doing it. When you're that's, looking for that second, that, that, that moment. That's a little easier said yeah. than done. It was fun though, guys. Thanks for hanging with us. Sounds like uh, all the boats had a little luck today. We just we just broke a little later. We had that dark horse. And, uh, Secretariat. Anyways, guys, we are going to get this thing on the trailer and head back to the ranch, eat some snacks, retie, do all those things. We'll be see be back in the morning. We'll see ya. Thanks.